Hi, it's Dawson Church from EF Universe here. And I'd like to share with you a really nifty little trick for use in a fast food restaurant. The other day I was in Subway. My youngest son, Alexander, loves Subway. So we stopped for lunch and he wanted to go to Subway. And we both ordered the same thing, which was a roast beef sandwich. A six inch long roast beef sandwich. That probably sounds like a situation you've been in often yourself. As I was watching them make sandwiches and looking at all the ingredients, I did some tapping. I just very in inconspicuously tapped on my karate chop point and also on my gamut point like this, rubbing them, a little bit of tapping, and really tuning into what my body really wanted there of this big array of possible options for the sandwich. So he ordered a sandwich, I ordered a sandwich, and the difference in the end between his sandwich and my sandwich was very substantial. They looked the same. They looked just the same. His sandwich was 600 calories. Mine was under 300 calories. What made the difference? Well, as I was tapping, I watched them having dispensing this, this big squeeze tube of mayonnaise. And I said, hold mayonnaise. Well, that alone reduced the calorie count in my sandwich by 110 calories. 110 calories just in that squirt of mayonnaise. Next, I picked wheat bread, whereas he picked honey oat bread. That made a difference of 50 calories in the sandwich. I also said, hold the cheese. And I doubled up on some things that weren't full of calories, like peppers. I also wound up eating half my bun rather than both sides of the bun. And all of those things together meant that his sandwich was 600 calories, mine was 260 calories. That's the difference you can make when you tune into your body, really feel, what do I want right now? When you aren't craving, when you aren't distracted, and that little bit of tapping, a little bit of inconspicuous rubbing, the karate chop point or the gamut point can make all the difference in whether your meal is a high calorie meal or just a regular low calorie an equally delicious one. So I encourage you to use EFT frequently when you're looking at food, when you're choosing food, and then making those choices that really support your long-term goals.